What color is this apple? It's red, right? But is your red the same as my red? Could we actually be seeing different colors but calling it by the same name? These are the questions that keep me up at night. Hey there, Curious Minds. Dave here. Let's start this off by unraveling the mystery of light. Light is what's called an electromagnetic wave. You can think of it like a little stream of packets of energy called photons that travel through space. And I said it carries energy, which is the ability to cause change. And light can cause a lot of change. It literally powers our world. So at its most basic level, light is how energy is moved through space in the universe, starting primarily in stars like our sun. Now let's talk about colors. This is a simplified model of a light wave. The most important thing here is the wavelength, the distance between the crests of the wave, because different colors have different wavelengths. The color red has a longer wavelength, around 700 nanometers, and a nanometer is one billionth of a meter. It's really small, really small. And on the other end of the spectrum, you have violet, which has a wavelength of around 400 nanometers, even smaller. I like to say that my favorite color is 470 nanometers. It, it's, it's blue. Ah, such a nerd. Here's the weird part though. If red and violet light are just electromagnetic waves with different wavelengths, then why do we see them differently? Enter the eye and the brain. In the back of your eye, you have these little things called rods and cones. They detect light and then send signals to your brain. Your brain then creates the colors. Yes, that's right. Your brain creates the colors. Objects themselves are colorless, which is why people can be colorblind. Their rods and cones are built differently or may be missing, changing the signals that get sent to the brain. And it's way more common than you think. There's at least one or two guys in every classroom that have some form of colorblindness. And it's crazy how we actually see color. We see color when certain wavelengths of light enter into our eyes. If we see something as blue, it means that that wavelength of color is reflecting off that object and going into our eyes. If something is white, then all wavelengths of color are reflecting off the object and going into our eyes, and our brain interprets that as white. And black is the opposite. It means no wavelengths of light are bouncing off the object. It's absorbing it all, which is why dark objects tend to heat up faster than lighter ones. Surprisingly, visible light is just a tiny part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Stars give off radio waves, microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. And as wavelengths get smaller, the frequency increases, and that's the number of wave crests that pass a point in any given amount of time. And the higher the frequency, the greater the energy those waves carry. Typically, you don't want to mess with gamma waves. Each is just a wave of photons with its own unique wavelength. And humans, we've found ways to use them all. From cooking our popcorn to medical imaging, these forms of radiation play crucial roles in our everyday lives. But our eyes don't see any of it. Just a wee tiny amount in one part of the spectrum, the visible light. In a nutshell, light is an amazing dance of photons. Colors are wavelengths playing their own tune, and the electromagnetic spectrum is a vast orchestra of radiation. Our brains, the conductors, turn the symphony into the vibrant world we perceive. It's like the ultimate cosmic concert. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-boggling content. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep shining bright.